Hey, cycling fans, another big week in American cycling. The Americans picked up another rainbow jersey at the BMX World Championships. We're going to talk about mountain biking nationals out in Winter Park, Colorado. A ton of crit racing over the last couple weeks, and we'll check in with the Americans finishing the Tour de France. That's Dave Toll. I'm Brad Soner, and this is This Week in American Cycling. Let's start with the biggest result of the weekend. The UCI BMX World Championships are taking place over in Zolder, Belgium. If you're not a BMX fan, we have a huge star in Elise Willoughby. She was an Olympic silver medalist at the 2016 Rio Games and world champion back in 2017. This week, she picked up her second world championship in three years, beating the defending world champion, Laura Smolders, to the line. American Felicia Stansill also gets a ride into the final. She ends up sixth place in the final round. And we had two junior women in the finals as well. Fourth and sixth place for Peyton Ridenour and Mackenzie Gayhart, respectively. No American men in the finals, but the U.S. women had a great race. Mountain Bike National Championships taking place up in beautiful Winter Park, Colorado, with cross country, short track, and downhill titles all on offer. Cross country up first, tough crash early on for Chris Blevins as he goes down and withdraws from the race, setting up a great battle between defending champ Howard Grotz and eventual winner Keegan Swenson up at the front. They left behind a group of five on the fourth lap, setting up Russell Finsterwald for third. Chloe Woodruff dominates in the pro women. She gets locked into a good battle with Evelyn Dong. Leah Davidson takes third place, about two minutes down on Woodruff. Reigning world champ Kate Courtney opts not to compete at national. She stays over in Europe, targeting the World Cup circuit. Woodruff doubled up in the short track, adding another national championship jersey to her 2019 resume, ahead of Alexis Scarda and Rose Grant. Chris Blevins comes back from his injury in the cross country event to win the short track, beating out Cypress Gorey and Stephen DeVoust. Then it was on to downhill and dual slalom. Some great races here. Uh, starting with the downhill competition, Washington's Jill Kintner wins by just five seconds over Claire Hamilton on the roughly six minute course. Kailani Hines, another Washington rider, takes third for the women. 2018 defending champion Niku Molali wins for the men, three seconds ahead of Charlie Harrison and Dakota Norton. Second and third separated by just a tenth of a second. Close one out there in Winter Park. Kintner and Hines added more medals to their haul from Winter Park as they went 1-2 in the dual slalom. It ended up being Utah's Mitch Roplay who beat Kyle straight to the bottom of the mountain to win the men's dual slalom. We were off last week, so we've got two crit weekends to catch up on with Salt Lake City and the San Rafael Twilight Criterium. Let's start in Salt Lake, a new event there. They did a great job, and the riders put on a great show. First up, it was Harriet Owen taking Emma Bast and her teammate Starla Tettergreen to the line. The Brit has been on fire for the hoggins Berman Superman team. Tettergreen leading the series, so she picks up a few more points and widens her USA Crits lead. Well, after watching Hoggins Berman sandwich the podiums with the first and a third, Legion of Los Angeles was back at it doing the same thing themselves as Justin Williams takes the win ahead of his younger brother Corey Williams as they keep former crit champ Ty Magner at bay. Great sprints in both races as they took some form with them over to San Rafael. Yeah, here Owen and Tettergreen swap positions with Tettergreen taking off at two laps to go. A daring move with Levine Law Group's Lisa Cordova. The gamble paid off and they barely held off the field to the line. Owens takes third out of the group. Good show of teamwork by the Hoggins Berman Superman team. Well, Legion really was a picture of teamwork in the men's race. They put on a clinic out there, getting three of their guys up in the break that night with Tyler Williams, Sean McElroy, and Diego Benetana riding in that group of seven. Despite the best efforts of Butcher Box back in the field, the group stayed away, and Legion ended up sealing the deal, going one-two with McElroy and Williams, while Thomas Gibbons, USA Crit season leader, ends up holding on for third. 
10 days of crit racing also happening up in Chicago for the Intelligentsia Cup. This is always a fun one every year with international crit fields. Tight men's race in the Omnium Battle. Brandon Fury starts the final day just one point ahead of New Zealand rider Hayden Strong for the Texas Roadhouse team, but he does what he needs to do on the final day and Fury seals up the yellow jersey win. CWA Trek dominating the women's race as well with American Sam Schneider and Swiss rider Caroline Bauer. Bauer moved into the yellow jersey about halfway through the series and held it all the way through the final day. Redmond, Washington, home of the Jerry Baker Velodrome, and there was a lot of action up there last weekend. The Marymore Crawl. American Madeline Godby set the track record in both the 200 meter and 500 meter, but more importantly, lots of folks getting out and enjoying a great day at the track for the first time. If you're interested in giving it a go yourself, head on over to usacycling.org slash events and find a track near you. Finally, the Tour de France wrapping up in Paris. Three Americans making it to the finish line as Ben King, Chad Haga, and Joey Roscoff get to ride down the legendary Champs Elysees to finish the 106th edition after 2,162 miles of riding. So congratulations to those three on making it to the line in Paris. That's it for this week's show. For Dave Toll, I'm Brad Soner saying thanks for watching another episode. We'll see you next time on This Week in American Cycling.